and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Mage Seeker Lux. But having some requests to put together a Heimerdinger Lux deck and you know just updating our old Heimerdinger Lux deck, which we called Mage Seeker Lux. It's been it's been this title for a long time, ever since the Mage Seekers were um you know buffed, I guess uh maybe two, three months ago, maybe four months ago. I don't know. That was a long time ago. Uh, but anyway. It's kind of a difficult list to put together because there's so many things we want to play. Um, we're going to be looking for turn three remembrance quite a bit. Also have one unlicensed innovation, another good a turn three play for our six mana stuff. These six mana spells are important, of course, because Heimerdinger now at six mana is where you create your floor be gone. You get a six one elusive. That's pretty awesome. So we want a good healthy number of six mana spells in the deck. Um, I'm thinking that with less Will of Ionia running around, maybe Unyielding Spirit can be a little bit better. But also, there's a lot more aggro where Unyielding Spirit's kind of slow. So we'll we'll play the games. We're gonna you know, we're gonna start like this. But this is a card that you know maybe Unyielding Spirit will turn into like another unlicensed innovation. Um, maybe we'll take that out. The the card one card that I am omitting that I really wish I had was Flash of Brilliance. That card of course is awesome with Heimerdinger. Um, it's just kind of hard to fit it in. But the but four mana slot's really good because the four mana turret is good. It's the four one overwhelm, and four works out well because we have three two mana spells with blinding assault, mystic shot, single combat, um, and so just combining twos and fours is what you want to do for Lux anyway. So I would I would like to find room for flash of brilliances, maybe that that unyielding spirit, maybe one of these back to backs. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. Maybe we can find some room in there. Um, but we're going to try it out like this first. Um, let's see. Radiant, like, so what I am worried about with this matchup is the fast aggro decks. Radiant Guardian going to be very important there. And that's why I want to have all of these um, single combats to be able to fight whenever we do have a lifesteal Radiant Guardian and also the Blinding Assaults to be able to help enable Radiant Guardian easier. Uh, let's see. Mage Seeker Conservator is in here. Again, another blocker against the fast aggro decks that can create an expensive spell for us. Um, I don't love it, though. You know, this is something that's on the fence of being in the deck or not. One really cool thing that can happen with this card, obviously it's probably not going to happen that often, but if you play this on, you know, like turn one or two, or heck, I guess even turn three, you play it on one of those turns, and if it, if it dies on turn three, if you can get the Conservator to die on turn three, then you can play Remembrance on turn three for five mana, because that'll be because uh, this works if you have a one cost unit, you'll still have the five and you'll get the random uh, five cost follower. And so then maybe you get the Radiant Guardian with Lifesteal and Tough as early as turn three, if you're super lucky with the Conservator and Remembrance. So we're going to try that out, see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I think I. I think I want a couple of gotchas with the gotcha being uh, pairing up with these two mana cards. That could be pretty important. A barrier to protect our Heimerdinger and Lux. And one Concerted Strike to kind of go with that Radiant Guardian and help take down large units. We'll see. All right, we're going to start here. Oh, I didn't turn on the light behind me. I was going to do that. My bad. Sorry about that. So yeah, I wanted to... Um, all right, and then we'll, we'll see if we can find room for Flash of Brilliance or if we feel that like Flash of Brilliance is necessary while we play. Okay, so we have turn three innovation. We have single combat to kind of go with it. Um, I'll mulligan blinding assault and gotcha, even though I don't really dislike those two cards. Yeah, we're gonna try new casino today with the new upgraded Discard one, then draw one units. My 
So I think it's probably better to just lead with innovation over remembrance. Because remembrance can be cheaper than innovation can be. Yep, donation decks lower the price again. I'm, I have left a less. Yeah. I only got one in the last two days, so like we're, I'm, you know, back to being close to caught up with them. Could they have a zero mana card? Here we go. Let's get to it. Okay, well, we are hoping for. Open for Radiant Guardian and then double single combat to go along with the Radiant Guardian. That's what we're hoping for. And if not, we'll play Persuader and Thermogenic Beam, probably. Thank you. Glad you like the YouTube videos. And welcome over here on Twitch. Follow my lead. Not great. Not great. I will admit. I don't want to play Mage Seeker Persuader and they just, you know, they get to just challenge Persuader. I'll just pass. Maybe they'll just pass back to me. That'd be cool. You don't think that's possible? All right, so because of the one mana tough card, I'm going to block here the and then fight there. And so with the one mana tough card, because otherwise, you know, like we could like fight the badger bear, but we don't want to do that. Okay. Change the guardian to the other cat. We gotta change the guardian request. Stand in judgment. You have no alibi. Ooh, get another radiant guardian. I was gonna be just happy playing the remembrance and hoping to hit radiant guardian, but now just got another one. Oh, 
One banner, one destiny. Blech. Should still be fine. This is an important Radiant Guardian metagame, that's for sure. I'm actually here. <laughs> Keep on drawing these. Nothing to worry about. If you one drops. Hoping no Sithria. Not Sithria. Okay, cool. Um, Kennedy. That's the name of the card. If it was Genevieve, we would spend our five mana to Thermogenic Beam. Genevieve. Alright, there we go. We got first win. Thank you, Radiant Guardian. Oh! Cancel! Ooh, good thing that took a little bit. Kit. <laughs> Chat's yelling at me, my bad. My bad. Hey, Harvey. One of my dogs came up to say hi. You think Kit is a canine of some sort and not a cat? Really? I need to see this Kit. What? You think this is a canine of some sort? Maybe. I could see that. Okay. Okay, I can see it. I'm saying it's a fox. Yeah, that could be a fox. Does have a fox tail? Yeah. Go with the fox. I mean, it doesn't it? I think it has two tails, like the Fey Blade Twirler. That's what it kind of seems like. Seems like it has the whole two tail thing going on. A spirit fox. Okay, it's Ari is the name. From League of Legends. My cause, you have no alibi. Strike for Chad is justice. saying that this is. It's like a spirit fox named Ari. No. Do that next turn. Just probably not gonna want to spend a whole bunch of mana with that thermogenic beam with me having remembrance and radiant guardian like those those are very mana hungry I will end this here um, I've, I've seen a couple of the League of Legends cinematics but not not all of them but I've seen a couple I just realized this is Draven Ezreal. I thought this was a Draven Burn deck that we're playing against. Draven Ezreal? Maybe I should have saved that Thermogenic Beam. That might have been a mistake. The unworthy. Transmogulator could be kind of cool. 
I can change one of my other units into a Raiding Guardian. Alright, so I, I should have saved the Thermogenic Beam. I didn't realize exactly what we were playing against, I suppose. No, I haven't watched a recent one. Oh no. Guillotine, no. Love to be able to use the Unyielding Spirit on the Lux. That was perfect. That's the best card to hit, the 5-5 five, five Tough. The best one to hit. Um, do I want to just pass back? Let's see. Let's say I, I do this, and then they play Ezreal and get a Mystic Shot. Is that bad for me? Maybe I just pass back. It's probably not that bad. They go Ezreal Mystic Shot. Yeah, they could have Ravenous Flock as you know to combine with that. That's where it would be bad, is if they if they have Ezreal and Ravenous Flock out of two two of the three cards. It's Draven time. Unyielding Spirit. Not too scared of an Ezreal now because we have single combat. My beautiful face. I thought you'd never ask. Cavalry to the field. Looks like there's like a little air, a carrot here in between my attackers because of this board. It's like they're attacking that way. They're attacking together. That's fine. One shot, all skill. Um, yeah. Do you have the double mystic shots? gonna win how do we possibly lose I can't can't really think of any way that we lose
Awesome, cool pockets. I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying the Gangplank Burn deck from earlier today. I could have played the Radiant Guardian as just a five-five. Doesn't really matter because I don't think we can lose. Ugh. Sorry. I should have muted the mic before I did that. I'm sorry about that, or warned y'all. I forget about like the rumbling noise in the mic whenever I move. I basically want to move closer to the... I basically scoot, scoot it over that way so I can move closer to the midway on the camera. Um... Mystic shot. Mystic shot. That gives me the six mana for the final spark. Still leaves me plenty of mana and plenty of removal for other units. So they're just hoping that I draw 16 out of these 20 puff caps. That's a good good strategy. You know, like that's that's their best strategy. They should have gave me those puff caps earlier. Ah, uh, just two. It's close. That was close. Oh, do they have do they have 14 damage? Three, six, eight. Yeah, they they could have just gave me all those puff caps earlier. All right, so Unyielding Spirit completely winning that game. Looks like there was an update. Um, we have Mage Seeker Lux. See what we get paired against. Okay, back to Lucian Misfortune Aggro. This would be one that I would really like to have. Radiant Guardian on. So we'll have Remembrance on three. Turn four, we can Mystic Shot plus Mage Seeker Persuader or Single Combat plus Mage Seeker Persuader, you know, right? Like we'll be able to double spell on turn four. And then hopefully we find a Radiant Guardian for turn five. Now it's it's usually better whenever we have the attack token with this deck because then your opponent only has like the turn two attack before you get to Remembrance. So this is actually, even though like we're playing a slower deck, so you think it wouldn't matter, but this is a deck that you you basically always want the attack token because of that. Um, and plus, you know, you get to attack on turn three with your turn three remembrance. Sometimes you get like the five five scout. Um, but then being able to attack turn one, turn three, that does a lot more damage than just them attacking turn two. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, camera is lagging. I'll see if 
looking for trouble. Did that change anything? I found you. Okay, so they didn't go straight to attacks. I'll do my best. Okay, now it's good. Um Test. Still seems like it's behind. Okay, it should be good. Yep, there we go. Alright, now it's good. Okay, so we'll go... Scout attack. We got a lot of things we can potentially do. We got a lot of two mana cards. I like it. They're just passing turn? Huh. Justice. I think I'm gonna single combat and kill the misfortune with that. Okay. Mages can't hide from me. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with these blinding assaults right now. Because I think I just go challenge. You know, like challenge, kill the misfortune there do four to them and then play five mana remembrance i think that's my plan which means you don't really need to play a blinding assault making the dead dead see that's what we want to use blinding assault for no wrong one i'll still take it Sentinels of light don't still not bad Ooh, okay, okay. I'll defend these forests to the end. Um, I take ten. Huh. If they have the one mana give all your stuff tough card, that'll be sad. Maybe I just back to back here. Maybe considering passing and having me waste six mana. But 
Next turn, we'd have 11 mana, which is one short of being able to go Lux and then also have another 6. Go Heimerdinger and then have another 6. Do we want a bunch of a bunch of two one toughs for free? Hey Talgrek. Yeah, we're definitely playing the birds. It's just do we play Lux first or do we play Heimerdinger first? I think I'd rather play Lux, but I'm going to play Heimerdinger so I still have single combat up. Send in the birds one by one. Could be the thing, because again, the one mana tough card. Got to be worried about that. made life worse. I wish I would have played Lux. Not Heimer. Gosh, I just really hope they don't have the one mana tough card. Probably my best option it, before Heimerdinger dies, getting another 2 1. I think I'd rather play the 2 1 to block than a Valor. This is going to allow them to kill my Mage Seeker Persuader as well. So we'll see, we both have two cards left. They have a better thing in play with their Senna to my 2-1, but I have a Lux, and Lux is super powerful. So I, I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot because we have Lux coming up here.
Yeah, glad they don't have the Rangers Resolve, or at least they didn't, or never played it if they did. I guess didn't have like a great time to play it. That was the card. That was the one man tough that I was talking about. That was Rangers Resolve. Cool. I have one Lux protect the other with the uh, Prismatic Barrier. You're covered. We can do this. Take ten, go to seven. I'm not too worried if that last card's relentless pursuit, then I'll block. Yeah, like that doesn't matter. They just spent they just spent three mana to kill a two one. Like that doesn't seem like a very good use of a card. This is my choice. I'll leave that. Cool. That's a good card. This place reeks of foul magic. That's a good draw. You fight or you swim. Um. Hmm. Maybe I want to detain. Because I already have the three mana spent, and so now back to back will create another final spark after this. For next turn. No more holding back. For justice and all things bright. All things bright. Should be a win. Should be three and zero. Oh. We'll see though. Okay, three no. The superior tactic is to never give up. No, unlicensed innovation does a, a key thing in our deck where Genevieve Um you know Genevieve's a six mana unit. We we want we need like like turn three we want to play we want to play the six mana thing on turn three with our deck. Turns on our mage seekers and stuff like that. Like unlicensed innovation is an important piece in that regard. That is true. Genevieve is a great card, but don't. I don't know. We already got five and six mana champions and radiant guardian. Super important. I don't know if we have more room for more expensive units. Uh, this is going to be a tough matchup. Going to keep all of these. So we're playing against elusives, and our Radiant Guardian's not as good against elusives. Like maybe, honestly, maybe I'm supposed to be mulliganing the Radiant Guardian. I don't know. This is this is going to be a tough matchup because like they're they're aggressive, which is bad for us. But then also they can be uh, difficult to block because of elusive. So they can get around my whole blocking strategy, which is a 
big strategy that I'm trying to do in the game. Block. I know it's a real uncommon strategy. Courage masks the heart from fear. Follow my lead. Trying to do something that basically nobody does. So normally I'd be attacking there. They didn't play anything. I don't know if they were like gonna play like a Green Glade duo or whatever. They're gonna play it like after combat. First step the I don't know. And so instead of instead of finding out, I just decided to pass and have them waste that mana. Okay. Let me just play this this turn. Not gonna be playing gotcha. I'm not gonna be blocking with this thing either, but I think it's safe. So we take six, go to nine. They may go like twin disciplines plus three plus zero, which I wouldn't necessarily hate. They don't have William. I fight for the fallen. No, no Prince, no Prince William. I went to grab my water and it's empty, and I was sad. And I was like, well, never mind. Uh. Yeah, I mean, I still just gain five life, even if they go this plus twin disciplines. Still gain the five life. Oh, man. Without a sound. Man. Concerted strike, you would man. If only I didn't. If I only I didn't attack. You know, if I knew that we were gonna have a concerted strike. Uh, if only I didn't attack. Um. I guess I play both of these and hope. Gosh, they just could have another twin disciplines or an elixir of iron either. Man, I wish I didn't. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If I try, okay. If I would try going Concerted Strike plus Mystic Shot to kill this, then yes, they could have Elixir of Iron that then I die. Um, so now they can't have the Twin Disciplines to kill me. Hmm. 
if only I just did not attack the previous turn with the Radiant Guardian, we would be looking great. If only I just didn't do that, we'd be looking great. This is sad. did have the elixir of iron also that was just awesome for them i think i would have won this game if i just didn't attack with that radiant guardian that was not yeah that concerted strike punished me real hard All right, five O Dream is dead. Dang. I was thinking, so basically, I was thinking that they would have used that jewel protector on like a large elusive thing, which I guess that's kind of like that. But and so I like I would need that five life. But man. Concerted strike. If only I would still have. Only I would still have the Radiant Guardian. So this is a matchup where I definitely want Remembrance or Unlicensed Innovation. Yay. on the one two don't want it to be super easy to kill the great horn companion we can mystic shots take down the three two um, I can also blinding assault um, maybe that'd be better to go hmm. blinding assaults very easy for them to kill Twisted Fate red card. We got Twisted Fate gold card with this. Basically, wanted to see if they would use some kind of removal on, on my 5-4. Okay, yeah, it looks like they're going to go gold card with Twisted Fates. And then we go Blinding Assault kill Twisted Fates. I'm always up for a round or two. Holy or, I guess Persuader is safer? If they play Parlay. Obviously, they can kill Persuader still with Parlay, but it'll be after Twisted Fate also dies. So we're tied on cards, five and five. 
Yeah, we got a 4-1 in play. Don't blink or you miss me. That was the problem with using the Persuader, was Ezreal. I don't miss. See, they have to be worried about Radiant Guardian, right? I guess not. I guess they're not. Firing. I was hoping they'd be worried about Radiant Guardian. Um. Yeah, we're testing out Heimerdinger. I don't. I don't know if Heimerdinger is better than Vi. We haven't truly done anything with oh, Heimerdinger Maybe, yet. Uh... Um, maybe that we need, like, the Flash of Brilliances to really have Heimerdinger do a lot more. But, I mean, we haven't really drawn Heimerdinger very much, basically, just that last game. I'm not going to say that it's that it's definitely better than Vi. Vi was quite good when we played Vi previously. The one thing about this is the... Back to backs. Just super easy, you know, like a, a deck with make it rain and everything. It's super easy to kill Valor. I, just, I wanted to trade. I'm ready. Maybe. This would be this would okay, I was gonna say that'd be me trading my two mana spell for their three mana. Ten mana next turn. Not really sure how this goes bad for me. No way. One Ezreal down, one twist of fate down. I'll have eight mana next turn for unyielding spirit. Gonna really be able to protect it. Yeah, you know, I can't go unyielding spear plus back to back in the same turn. Darn. But what I could do is I could have played my my two mana Mage Seeker Persuader. Play that and back to back and I would have leveled up Lux. Lux would be a five six, would be more difficult to, to kill. Alright, that was probably just probably just a bad play by me. Probably. Mages can't hide from me. Safety will cost you. I mean, they just got two cards, right? Like they got. I mean, it's not like they just got. They spent three cards on one. They spent three on two. Like I spent. I spent fourteen mana on those two cards that I just played. My call, you can't outrun justice. Take a look at this. What seems to be the problem? Oh, come on. That's just twice. I 
Got a champion killed. You can't can't get champions killed. The world's a big place. Let's see all Twice I did. Confine and contain. Watch and learn. Nailed it. <sighs> I mean, that's... The Lux one is the one that was the biggest mistake. I, I... That's gonna cost me this game. That was a bad unyielding spirit. I just can't risk them going straight to damage, and then I just get, you know, I just have these back-to-backs that do nothing. Even though I don't, I don't know, I don't love the back-to-back -back there. I feel like I need to do this one. I really regret this game. Especially that Lux play. I don't know if that was the car that Mage Seeker Conservator created. It doesn't seem like it. There's nothing ask. that, um, nothing that said that. But we have killed all three Ezreals. That's the good news. With the bad news being, I should have already won this with. Lux. Oh, that's still gonna die? Oh, right, because it's taking six. That was dumb. That was dumb. I definitely should have won that game. And could have won that game. You don't always play your best, and that's okay. Just got to pick it up for the next game. It's okay to make mistakes and you know lose the game. Don't don't try to beat yourself up too much over it. Um, there we go. I I did for a little bit there. It's, it's okay to be upset and to realize your mistake and just try to not to make it again what i like basically the you know the unyielding spirit was really unnecessary especially how i drew the um persuader i really should have just cast persuader which is a good challenger unit and then i could back to back both of them also they would be able to level up lux then a leveled up lux being a five six is just so much harder to deal with than a four five you know just every single health every single additional health you add on just makes it even more difficult um so you know would have had the final spark been able to take something out with the final spark um you know our persuader would have been larger and everything and we could have gone for the unyielding spirit afterwards because they probably would have you know used those mystic shots trying to deal with those things that were larger anyway and then our unyielding spirit could have been later there's just no reason to rush the rush the unyielding spirit i went for um super easy mode with playing unyielding spirit because obviously if unyielding spirit would have resolved the game would have been over and so that's what i went for i just went for the path of least resistance instead of the uh correct path the smart path of playing it correctly to win the game so good good uh learning point i did really like unlicensed innovation i thought that was a, a nice thing having nice having that the, I mean, I do like back-to-back, -back, but maybe we trim down back-to-back -to, -back to one. We saw there the, the last game. They're having a couple of them. 
can be kind of rough. So I, I like the unlicensed innovation. Maybe switch those two numbers around. I still would like to maybe find room for Flash of Brilliance. As we saw how those games played out, we didn't really have time for Flash of Brilliance. It didn't really seem like we did or time for Heimerdinger, really. Metagame's pretty aggressive. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. I didn't... Yeah. Didn't necessarily mind not having it. But yeah, basically, both of those losses, I think, were, were definitely winnable if I would have done different things. The first loss, it was attacking with a Radiant Guardian, where I thought we needed to, but then... Which, which I think was a fine attack, but the thing was is we drew Concerted Strike... And then they also had a 7-6 Zed. And just that combination, man, if, if I just, you know, if I just would have known that my next draw was going to be Concerted Strike and if they would have Zed, you know, I just wouldn't attack with that Radiant Guardian. And then honestly, I, I don't, I don't really see us losing that game. Concerted Strike takes down Zed. Like they, you know, they didn't have the mana for Deny. And, um, you know, nothing, you know, Twin Discipline, nothing would have saved their Zed. And we would have gained five life from that. Would have the Radiant Guardian in play for just an awesome blocker. So both of those games were definitely winnable. If I would have just done one thing different in each game, the game was over, and yeah, we would we would have we would have been five and zero. But not that easy. So yeah, both of our decks so far today kind of similar stories. Both three twos that both could have been better records. The that one, both of those were my fault with the losses. The first one, both of our losses were just the opponents having incredible hands. But both these decks have looked pretty solid. I was very happy with our deck against the aggressive decks that we did face. We didn't really face like the discard aggro, you know, the discard burn. Didn't really face that deck uh, to kind of test it, test out our Radiant Guardians and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, the yeah, I don't, I don't have any of those. That's something you can definitely have also um, in this kind of deck, Eager Apprentice, where you can have, like, the more aggressive the metagame is, then the better Eager Apprentice is, where, yeah, you get to refill your spell mana for Remembrance and Unlicensed Innovation still on turn three. It could be, it, Eager, it's possible Eager Apprentice is better than Mage Seeker Conservator. I was going with this to try to create those six-cost spells, but, yeah, that's, that's definitely an option of... Um, I'm I'm not going to sit here and definitely say the conservator is better. I could I could easily see the apprentice being better, especially if we move towards more innovations and more of it's really important to play these on turn three. Then it, then uh, then there's more likelihood that eager apprentice is necessary because it's super easy to uh, like you know you're still able to play these on turn three with eager apprentice on turn two. Um. So yeah, I, I could absolutely see changing that. And you get another blocker for turn two. I don't hate that at all. All right, so there we go. That's Mage Seeker Lux. Um, anyway, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.